Ông quay cho. President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. I now give the floor to the international Je deputy co-prosecutor to put his questions pour qu to this civil party. And uh, please be informed that you have uh, 30 minutes to put Vous questions to this civil party. You may not proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, good morning, Madam Civil Party. Bonjour, Madame la Partie Civile. I want to... Uh, uh, first, um, uh, go back and ask you a few follow-up questions about um, your work at the 1st January Dam. Um, do you remember, did you have a specific quota of uh, the amount of cubic meters of earth or dirt that you had to dig each day? Do you remember whether the workers in your unit were given specific quotas like that? Answer. Réponse. Yes, we had we received oui. the work quota. Nous devions respecter un quota. And uh, male and female worker, I mean two les females, uh, was uh, put together with one male who was uh, comme suit. digging uh, the earth, and the two female workers carried et deux the dirt. And as well, a work quota, it was about 1.5 to 2 cubic meters per day. And we were required to meet uh, the quota set. However, in that particular place or location, the soil was so rocky, endroit, and, uh, the, caillouteux, rocheux, and uh, we could not meet the quota, even though we were uh, working very hard. Même en on and the uh, surface was solid soil, and every Le time uh, we dug uh, the surface, there would be spark. As the result, the normal hole could not be used to dig that uh, solid soil, and we had to use the wrecking bars. And after we could be able to dig uh, that solid surface, Une fois que nous avions réussi à creuser then we reach uh, another level that nous consisted à couche of uh, stone une couche de we could roche. not do with that kind of stone there has to on ne pouvait pas en venir à bout. we had to use the explosive to break that stone pour briser cette roche. and normally uh, we were not told about the uh, explosive which was used to break that rock. Uh, we have uh, never told, we were never told at all. We had to run and escape while we heard the explosion and some fragments of the rock would fly and hit a worker. And there was one family there was a one family's house uh, which was uh, hit by uh, the uh, big fragment of the rock. And as of now, uh, the, the head of uh, that family did not repair that hole because he told the children that he would like to keep that uh, damage uh, to see uh, uh, today. Can you tell us uh, how, uh, how it was monitored and determined whether you had met your quota or not? Uh, who was responsible for doing it and how did they monitor you to see whether you were meeting your quota?
cứ mê cái đồng My group chiefs supervise and walk around to see us, and he sets the work quota. Lui qui fixait le quota. My unit chief and other unit chiefs chef de mon and group chiefs would be called to attend the meeting at the Sankat level or district level. À des réunions au niveau du 104 du district. After they receive a plan or instruction, the plan and instruction would be relayed to workers so that workers could have finished the work as soon as possible. We as workers needed to work as hard as possible, killing or people would take place because of uh, this hard work. Cela faisait beaucoup de victimes parmi nous. Now you've mentioned, uh, you've told us about uh, this uh, second location uh, near the National Road, um, where the rock uh, the surface that you had to dig was very hard and difficult. Um, I just wanted to clarify the location uh, where this was located. Um, you said yesterday that the site near the National Road was in Kampong Kama. Uh, can you tell us, were you on the south side of the Chinit River or the north side of the river when you were working near the National Road? Answer. I have no réponse. idea about the direction, whether it was in the south or in the idée. north of the uh, river. If uh, we traveled from Kampong Tmo, the site was on the left à gauche, en de part Tmo. west of the national road. And there were de la route palm trees Il y avait at that place, palmiers, which uh, remain until today. During uh, the Pchumban day, I would go there to visit. I still uh, have uh, bad memories visite, about that place. If I understood correctly, Question. you continued si to live compris, uh, in the same uh, sleeping quarters next to the Trap Young Shrey Pagoda, uh, even when you were working at this second location near the National Alors, Road. Uh, can you tell us how far away uh, the second site was that you worked, uh, how many kilometers it was from where you slept, and how long it took you to walk there in the morning? Answer. Réponse. From my rough estimate, it was about Je three kilometers. Il y avait when uh, we were walking from Trapang Tree à Pagoda. Depuis la pagode de Trapang Tree. And you told us that uh, when you began working at the second Question. location, um, you had to, endroit, you were woken up. Uh, at 3 a.m. in the morning so that you had time to walk there. Were you given any food, any breakfast uh, when you were woken up at 3 a.m. before you were required to walk three kilometers and start your work day? Oh. Answer. Réponse. Oh, my Buddha, we did not have breakfast for ourselves. We Mon were Dieu, non, nous n'avions pas empty de petit déjeuner. In our stomach. Nous partions we were so vide. hungry. Nous avions vraiment faim. No meals for us in the morning. Nous ne prenions pas de repas le matin. 
and if there were cold rice uh, made by the cook, uh, we would secretly go near that place where there were cold rice and pick it. We would share, we would also share uh, with uh, our colleagues secretly to eat and again no breakfast at all. It was enough for us to have rice to eat. We did not nous nous have any breakfast uh, after 1975. So do I un understand correctly then that you were expected si to get up at 3 in the morning to walk 3 kilometers matin, to this work site and then to work until 11 a.m. before you, were you would take a break and be given a full meal. Do I understand correctly? Answer. Yes, Réponse. that is oui. true. I exact. never tell lies. Je ne mange jamais. No breakfast, no meal at all in the morning, pas as I told the court. Le matin, comme je dit as à la I chambre. said, when we saw cold rags, uh, we would be so comme je dit, delighted. Nous du riz, we would nous go secretly ravis, and pick en en that cold rag and put in our pockets. Nous en mettions dans nos poches. Most of the times, uh, we uh, did not have any breakfast. We could temps, have uh, that cold rice once in a while. Nous pas de déjeuner, we did nous not even have cold rice to keep for supplement diet. Mais nous ne pouvions même pas manger ce riz en complément de ce no, que nous no, no. It would be we would be even happier if uh, we had uh, the cold rice to eat. Nous aurions été plus heureux encore si nous avions pu manger ce riz. Now you've mentioned that the uh, sleeping quarters that you had were next to the Trappian Shrey Pagoda. Uh, can you tell us what was that pagoda? used for during the Khmer Rouge regime, the pagoda at uh, Trapian Shrey. Answer. The pagoda was left alone. In that period. La pagode a été laissée à l'abandon. Those from Barai commune were gens de la commune told de Barai to stay in that area. Ont dû they were put sur place together in that place. Ils ont été réunis When à uh, workers endroit, were assigned to work endroit, in other locations, uh, they were uh, instructed to uh, stay in that place particular place that is Trapang Shrey Pagoda. During the time you were working Question. at the first January Dam, were there any monks at that pagoda? Was anyone allowed to practice Buddhism there? Answer: No monks Réponse. at all. Il n'y avait aucun moine. No monk at all after 1975. Il n'y avait pas de moine après 1975. It was until I arrives in Barai district. Ce n'est que lorsque je suis arrivé dans le district de Barai. A man named No, who was no. my friend uh, when uh, we were young, Avec he was a monk, but he was armed. 
Il avait été moine, mais And il était he armé. Was instructed to disrobe. On lui avait donné l'ordre de se défroquer. He was in Mangkut when I saw him. His name was No. Il he was uh, no, living il in Barai. Il vivait no à was the son of a no doctor était le fils d'un médecin, Savat. Le médecin Savat. We were friends when we were young. Nous étions amis lorsque nous étions Mr. jeunes. Mr. Savat, that was, he was the, the uh, physician. Monsieur Savat était médecin. My father and uh, this doctor knew each other. Mon père et ce médecin se connaissaient. As for no, he disrobed in early 1976. Il a quitté le froc début he was the last one of the monks who disrobed in that area. I knew that he had a gun or a rifle because I was told by a base person there I was told that a no was a monk but he was armed. I did not witness uh, and saw his gun but I was told by uh, someone else about the fact that he was armed. Ma Madam Civil Party, did, did you get to choose whether or not uh, you would work at the 1st January dam site? Did you have a choice? Answer, no, I did not get to choose. I non, had no choice. A base person could complain or refuse the assignment. As for new person, we could not make any complaint or refuse the assignment. When we asked to go and do the work, we had to go. Lorsque l'on nous demandait de partir, nous we devions partir. No rights. Nous n'avions aucun droit. No rights at all. Aucun droit. We were so unhappy, but what can we do besides nous uh, weeping and malheureux. sobbing? Mais qu'aurions pu qu'aurions-nous pu faire à part pleurer? Tang thung pan na de to va man ba ni. It was so difficult to be not able to refuse the assignment. I uh, can perhaps you can understand how difficult the situation was. I want to uh, turn now and ask you a few more questions about, the, uh, about your father. Um, you've told us um, how you learned from your siblings uh, that your father had been uh, arrested and killed. Uh, I just wanted to um, ask you, um, you say in your civil party application that your father was killed at Wat Parade Chan Dek. Did your siblings uh, tell you how they knew that your father had been taken to Wat Bure Chan Dek? Pourriez-vous nous dire comment vous avez appris que votre père avait été emmené à cette pagode de Bright John Dyke? Answer. Normally, people would know the Réponse. location of the killing En principe, and detention sites. I was told by someone that Barai John Dyke was a main uh, prison. Était une grande prison. Every prisoner, not only from uh, the 1st uh, January dam uh, work site, but from other areas, would be arrested and put in that detention place. My siblings came to told me that my father was killed in Barai John Dyke a Pagoda. He was taken at night and never returned. I could not even weep and sob 
When I heard the news, I consoled my sibling and told them to return to their workplace. I advised them to keep on working and to work hard to survive. I explained that they had to bear the situation. As I said, uh, we could not uh, even cry. Even we understood that uh, my father was killed. I could only rain when there was heavy rain. I had to get things out of my heart while raining. I did not even have time to weep and cry. When there were thunders and heavy rain, I was shouting and crying. Every time there was heavy rain, I recalled what happened. I could not cry and weep in front of uh, other people during that period because I was afraid that I would be accused of being uh, psychological sick. It was really hard for me at that time. I wanted to die in the period. I was very painful all over my body and in my mind. I had to bear the situation. Only when there was heavy rain, I could rain to relieve myself. Um, Madam Civil Party, um, did you ever learn Question. why your father was taken away and killed? Answer. Réponse. The words from their mouth mean something. They could die, could kill anyone they wanted. I could see that my father was working uh, every day, and he was working very hard. I did not know what mistake he committed. He was working very hard. He was a former teacher. He understand that he had the uh, formal link with the regime. He Il never reviewed any assignment. And I don't know the reason he was taken away and killed. I was told that uh, my father was asked to on go and carry logs. De he was gone. Il est parti. He was gone. Il est parti. We were waiting for him a few days after he was Nous gone, but he never jours, returned. Mais il jamais revenu. Those who knew about the arrest told me that uh, he could not make an escape. He was put in Barai Chondai. I saw many pits and graves in that Barai Chondai location. There were skeletal remains at that place, and I believe that my father was killed there. Can you tell us um, where was it that your father um, worked as a teacher in the prior regime, in the Law Null regime? Answer. He was uh, working as a teacher Réponse. in Prasi Hanouk uh, College in Kampong Cham. He was in charge of a workshop in that college. Il travaillait en tant qu'enseignant dans ce collège.
he was working in Kampung Cham and he was a, a teacher until il était the liberation of 1975. La libération de 1975. Do you know, was your father someone Question. who supported the Khmer Rouge or someone who was opposed to them? Answer, no, réponse. he did not support Khmer Rouge non, at all. Khmer Rouge, he tout. was not satisfied with uh, the communist regime. Even Et he was convinced by someone uh, who had the connection with that communism. He did not support at all the communism. He himself that uh, Lonol regime would be defeated and Khmer Rouge would come to replace. One day before the 17 uh, April of 1975, he with uh, the principal of that school, Mr. Chuan, with were afraid of of. Uh, being killed by Khmer Rouge. Par les Khmer Rouge. My father and that principal uh, thought of killing uh, the whole family members, but my on mother implored my father that uh, please do not kill uh, the family members. I was listening to my uh, father and mother's discussion at that time for about one hour. I was very terrified, and I, together with my siblings, uh, made an escape after we heard about the discussion. My father was really terrified and afraid of communism. Thank you for um, sharing that with us. Merci um, I want to ask you, um, do you remember uh, during the time you were working at the 1st January Dam, uh, was there a period where uh, some of the local Khmer Rouge cadres in Barai district or at the work site were removed or disappeared? and replaced from by cadres Khmer Rouge who came from the southwest zone. Do you have any memory of that? Answer, I did not know at the time. I was not focusing on any other information besides uh, working. Mais I wanted to travail, have enough rest so that I could work the day after. I did not pay any attention to other matters, but I believe that a uh, base person would know about this. Mr. President, with your leave at this time, I'd like to, uh, to put on the screen and provide to the witness a, a photograph that's contained in her civil party papers. Uh, this photograph um, is uh, in E3-4790, E3-4790, uh, and uh, at Khmer page 00582093. Uh, with your leave, I'd like to provide the witness, uh, provide the civil party with a copy of it and show, display it on the screen at this time. President, you can do so. Madam Civil Party, uh, if you could look at this photograph and if we could put it on the screen 
Um, I want to start just by having you identify who the people are in this photograph, uh, starting with the girl on the left side who is standing up. Uh, who, who is that? The girl who is holding a bunch of flowers, that is uh, me. Qui porte une de fleurs, moi. A young boy who is sitting, Et that is uh, my ici. younger brother, Sotirak. And next to him Juste is Hun Kol Tida. Hun Kol Tida. And the young baby sitting on the table, that is another younger brother who died during the Khmer Rouge regime. And the woman who is standing is my mother, and the man who is standing, that is my father. Rather, the woman who is sitting and the man who is sitting, both of them are my parents. Later on, they had five more uh, children, so there were a uh, total of nine altogether. The little baby that's being held there, um, was this the brother, uh, Han uh, Sok Koma, who you talked about, who died at the hospital after your father had been taken away? Yes, that is him, Sokoma. Now, in regards to your mother, um, you indicate uh, in your civil party statement that on the 7th of July, 1977, you received news that your mother and five of your siblings had been killed by the Khmer Rouge, that they had been dropped into wells in Champkar and Dung. Um, my first question is, uh, at the time your mother and siblings were taken away, where were they living and working? Uh, were they also working on the 1st January dam, like yourself? My mother and younger siblings at the time were staying at the village. By that time, my father had been uh, killed. Mon père avait déjà été On the day that she was called to a meeting, she asked my uh, uh, younger brother to, to uh, uh, come to get me. At the Barai Toad, in order to go to ah, uh, my Toad. native village. And he Et came to tell me that uh, village, our mother wanted to see me, me after she returned from the meeting. Lorsque then, when I met her, she asked me to pack vu, my belongings in order to, uh, to go with her. And I was thinking that why I was not called to the meeting. And the answer where they wanted us to go, and she said that uh, they wanted us to go to the new land. And while she was preparing her belongings, she also uh, packed some seeds in order to plant them when we were at uh, the new land. And I. Uh, told her that, please, uh, you go ahead, since I was not uh, called to attend the meeting, and please uh, write to me when you arrived at the new land. And I packed some food for her. 
je lui ai préparé de la nourriture que j'ai emballée. She said that her mind was uh, unsettling since she, since our father had gone and she didn't want to part from me since I was de, uh, notre, de mon père, elle ne se the pas elder bien, sister, troublée, but I begged her to go to the new land de, and I didn't know that she would die soeur, when she left. Vers ce nouvel endroit, elle ne savait pas qu'elle allait être, qu'elle allait mourir. By about 10 o'clock in the morning that day, à 10 heures, an Oscar arrived and they left. And some other villagers were also taken away by Oscars. Par There was a man named Jaim who wrote an Oscar to a transport the people away and I recall clearly that the day that my mother and younger siblings uh, went away it was on the 7th of the 7th of 77. The man was very gentle and he used to be a village chief and upon his return, he revenu, took the cows uh, to tie them somewhere and he stepped on some baskets. To me, it seems that his mind was uh, somewhere else. Et and it, it kind of a strange to me when I saw him acting that weird. Later in the evening, Sarun, who befriended with me, although she was a young, a, a new person, she waved and she embraced me and said that my mother and siblings had been killed at Chemka Andong. I could not believe it, and I did not believe it. I did not believe that they had been killed. How could they kill so many people? Because it was not only my family members who went away, but there were many other family families who were put in ox carts and left. About five days later, I saw clothing of my siblings vu les de mes et soeurs. and I saw a bra that my mother made for my younger sister. Vu so I knew that they had gone, they had been killed. <laughs> Madam Civil Party, I have just one more thing I want to uh, ask you about and try to clarify. Um, the younger brother and sister who are sitting in the chairs uh, in the photograph we've been looking at, uh, you've identified as um, Sok so Tirat, your brother Sok Tirat, and your sister Tida. Um, are these the two siblings who worked with your father at the first January dam? And can you clarify for us, did both of them die during the Khmer Rouge regime? The two siblings went along with my mother. And as I said, I remember it clearly. They went away on the 7th of February, 1977. And they were taken by an ox cart. They were lied to that they were taken to On leur a menti. the new land. On leur avait promis on les and they were told to prepare uh, some seeds so that they could plant those seeds upon their arrival. En arrivant 
and I learned from the man uh, giant appris that uh, he told other people that when they were being killed, they played the music loudly through the loudspeaker in order to mask the sound of killing. And the execution took place at the Chamka on Dong. Thank you, uh, Madam Civil Party, for answering um, and telling us about some of these difficult matters. Uh, Mr. President, I have no further questions. President, thank you. The Chamber would like to hand the floor now to the defense teams. And first to the defense team for Nunji to put questions to this civil party. You may proceed, Council. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Um, good morning, uh, Madam Civil Party. Um, I have some questions to you um, in relation to your work at um, the 1st January Dam. Je souhaite vous poser des questions au sujet de votre um, travail au barrage du 1er janvier. Let me start with asking you some questions as to um, the organization of um, your sujet group and of your unit. De votre groupe et de votre unité. Um, you testified earlier that there were about um, 50 females in your unit, vous avez dit y avait 50 um, dans votre unit and that the unit was divided into groups. Vous avez dit que était um, en deux do groups. you remember in how many groups your unit of 50 females was uh, vous divided? Vous du nombre de groupes qui composaient votre unité de 50 femmes? The unit was not subdivided as we were working together as a unit at the work site. No subgroups were divided. And uh, we, uh, the land plot was measured for our units to work together. Et la superficie était mesurée pour que toute notre unité y travaille. Um, maybe I, I, I didn't understand you well, but I, I thought I heard you uh, also talk about groups. Uh, groups and units. So can you explain to me exactly um, what the groups were? in terms of uh, their relation to the unit. Our unit was not uh, the same as the structure of the uh, regular mobile unit. Notre unité we were pas in la the women's unit, although we were working, uh, mixing with the uh, regular mobile units or with a, a second mobile unit. And as I said, we worked together within the unit and the land measurement was uh, assigned to the unit as a whole. Uh, for the cubic meter of work quota per day, usually the uh, work quota was assigned to one man and one male and two uh, females within the unit to complete that set of quota. I understand. Um, the total um, group the total number of the people from your village um, were about 100, if I um, calculated correctly, uh, 50 uh, women, 30 or 40 men, and 10 workers from the second mobile unit. So in total, um, around 100 people from your village. Is that correct?
There were only about 80 workers and uh, not up to 100. travailleurs, pas une centaine. It was around 80. Le chiffre était plutôt autour des 80 personnes. And are you able to give an estimate as to how many people of this group of 80 from your village were uh, new people and how many were uh, base people, people who originally lived in the village? Pourriez-vous nous donner une approximation? People who were assigned to work at the first January Dam work site Les gens à qui on included de about 20, du 1er janvier, comprenez. Excuse me. 20 new people. 20 personnes du peuple nouveau. And therefore around 60 donc, base people. Cela veut dire um, qu'il y avait une soixantaine de personnes du peuple de base, c'est exact. Yes, that is about right. Oui. Um, do you remember if next to or adjacent to the plot that your village was assigned to work on, Question, si workers from other villages were working? So in the plot east or and west, um, workers from neighboring villages were working. Would that be correct? Il y avait d'autres villageois, des villages adjacents à votre village qui travaillaient. Uh, and you're asking about the, uh, the work area near the village or the uh, work site at the dam construction? I'm, I'm sorry if I wasn't clear. I'm, I'm only asking you questions about the first January dam uh, work site. So my question is related to um, whether the next plot of land that had to be worked on was occupied by workers from other villages. Is that correct? Yes. In each, each commune composed of uh, several villages, Chaque commune était composée de plusieurs villages. There were Tnaltmai, Barai, Toi, Barai, Tom, etc. And these villages uh, form Barai, a commune. commune de and further down, to, there de were other uh, communes and districts. And we work uh, just along one another at the first January uh, Dam work site. Du and until the end of the uh, dam construction site, all the three sector forces were working there. And as I said, forces from all the three sectors were combined uh, to work at the dam construction work site. So would it be correct to say that it was at the first January dam work site village after village after village working each uh, on its own on their own plot uh, at the dam. Is that correct? Yes, exact. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Land plots were divided according to the forces from the uh, villages within the uh, Baraya commune. Dans la commune, de Baraya, dans la commune um, de Baraya. And is it also correct that each village, each group of workers from one village had its own uh, sleeping quarter? close by the working site. Que chaque village plutôt avait son propre dortoir près du site de travail. Mien, khang srok ke mien. Yes. Uh, other uh, Districts had the sitting oui. uh, quarters. As for us, we always uh, slept at Tropiangchiray Pagoda until the completion of the work at the first January Dam work site. 
Every day we had to walk from our sleeping quarter at the pagoda to the work site. But for other units, other villages and communes, they had their sleeping quarters nearby the work site. And although we uh, relocated to other sections of the dammed, we still slept at that pagoda. Was, was the group from your village the only group which didn't sleep close by um, the work site at the dam? Or were there other groups from other villages who also slept like your, like your group at this pagoda? Yes, there were there were workers from Stung Trang district. Oui, il y avait des ouvriers du district de Stung Trang who also used the pagoda as their sleeping quarter, although they had to walk for pagoda. only about one kilometer Mais from Stung Trang. Ne travaillaient qu'à un kilomètre de Stung Trang. Um, The people from your village who were in charge of the 80 workers um, from your village, um, were they also responsible for um, the way you were sleeping at night at this pagoda? Were they the ones who were responsible for, for instance, um, mats or, or hammocks or things like this? Était-il responsable, par exemple, des nattes, des hamacs ou de ce genre de choses? That is a pitiful event. I can tell you that uh, no mats were provided uh, to us. We slept actually on pieces of uh, tree bags or a tree trunks which were laid, which were laid on the floor and we had to sleep on this hard surface. And you can imagine how uh, difficult it was. However, once we fell asleep, we didn't feel the, the harshness of the floor. And although the roof was patched with the leaves, there were holes, and when it rained, we had to, to get up and sit as the, the tree leaves uh, roof could not hold the rain. And then, on top of that, we had to wake up early to, to go to work. They actually cut small trees, joined them together to form a floor for us to sleep on. And no mat was given to us. We only had a pair of clothes that we were wearing, and as for the skirt of sarong, it was filled with patches, and when it rained, we were soaked because uh, there were holes uh, on the roof. Then we had to steal, carried. We, we had to carry earth again in the morning. Uh, your description of the way you were sleeping, are you referring to the premises of the pagoda or are you referring to another place? Inside the pagoda, long buildings 
or a series of long buildings were built for were built as a sleeping quarter and small trees were stacked together and let out as our sleeping floor. Um, let me no, I, I will stay within um, uh, your group. Um, at one point Question. in the morning, you said that um, you had some abdominal pain and that you requested um, somebody within the group, one superior, to have a rest uh, that day. Who was it that you asked uh, permission not to work and to stay um, at the pagoda and not working? Who was it that you asked this permission? À qui aviez-vous demandé cette permission? I had my Réponse. abdominal pain at the time due to Je my menstrual cycle. De douleur au bas ventre en raison And I had to engage in regular heavy earth carrying work. Mais je devais quand même, Even during my menstrual cycle, I, my body terre. was trembling uh, with pain at the time, and I had serious abdominal uh, pain, and I could no longer carry it uh, and I requested to rest, and I was allowed to have a rest uh, that afternoon, and that was the afternoon that my father was arrested. Because of the irregular menstrual cycle that day, I had serious abdominal pain. Ou plutôt, en raison du fait que mon cycle menstruel n'était pas régulier, of course, you cannot imagine the pain that I had to bear with at the time since you are a man. But for regular women, they would understand when they had irregular menstrual cycle. Um, you're right. Um, my question was, uh, do you remember who you asked uh, permission? Who was it that gave you permission to rest? Do you remember? Demandez la permission de vous reposer. Vous souvenez-vous de cela Savez-vous à qui vous avez demandé et qui vous a donné la permission de vous reposer sought permission from my unit chief named Anne. J'ai demandé la permission à Anne, mon chef d'unité. Anne was my unit chief, and of Anne course, uh, she experienced the uh, severe abdominal pain when she had her menstrual cycle as well. And uh, as she understood about the pain and the condition, she allowed me to rest at that afternoon. And, and Anne was the chief of all 50 women in your unit? So Mais all the women had to ask Anne for permission to rest if femmes, they were in the same situation as you? Elle, si vous, and was my direct unit chief. Elle était la chef de mon unité. And was Anne Question. in charge Anne était of en charge the other 49 women from your unit as well? Yes, she was in oui. charge of uh, us, the women. Elle était de nous, les um, Mr. President, I'm, I'm looking at the... Monsieur le Président, je vois qu'il est l'heure d'arrêter, je vais donc m'en tenir là. 
President, Le thank President, you, merci. Defense Council. It is now appropriate time for us to have a Le lunch break, we'll take a break now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. Court officer, please assist the civil party at the waiting room for witnesses and the civil parties during this lunch break and invite her as well as the TPRO staff back into the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you are instructed to take his son to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess. Suspension.